Hey everyone, uh, Mike here. Uh, first video, first time vapor. Uh, I ordered, after much research, ordered a uh, the T Rex, which is like a, an ego um, from eSigExpress.com. Had great prices. Uh, had some issues with the hardware, battery, atomizer. Uh, guy was real good. Got me new stuff out. Uh, so I'm back in business. Uh, also sent me a. Uh, a free sample is plus stuff called three and five just to get me started because I actually forgot to order some uh, e juice when I placed the order for the T Rex. So uh, here's my unit. Uh, actually, it's kind of cool. I do like the um, the light up or all the way around, kind of gives you an indication of what it's on. The actual ego, um, I saw the button uh, would light up, but you kind of cover the button when you go to hit it, and I, I just don't see you seeing the button and see that it's activated. Uh, so I got the T-Rex, everybody's done the box deal. Um, now I moved on to uh, carrying my stuff around and storage uh, of all these things that I now need now that I'm a vapor and not a smoker. I don't need a lighter, I don't need a pack of cigarettes, I need my uh, PV and I need the stuff that goes with it, liquids. Uh, I am using carts at this point, uh, I'm new to vaping so the carts are going to do me just fine. Um, I know people use cartomizers, so I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with what I have for now. Um, transporting uh, filled cartridges um, was something I wanted to talk about or think about. So I start looking into different things that I've got around the house. What can I do to carry these stored cartridges? Um, the ones they give you, the pre-filled carts, obviously come in these neat little little packages that uh, keep them, uh, you know, clean and dry and whatnot. Um, but obviously once you take them out uh, of the package, uh, that package is no good anymore. So, what do we do with the um, carts that I have filled with this 3 and 5 stuff? I bought like 5 blank ones. Uh, actually, no, the guy gave me these 5 blank ones. Um, again, cool guy, uh, stuff, sent stuff right away, um, eSigExpress.com. Uh, so look around, well, how can I bring these around without this... Uh, residue and stuff getting everywhere, or the e-juice. Uh, started off with a button bag. Uh, fits three across, uh, no problem. Uh, but if you look in the bag, which you can't see, is there's some residue in the e-juice on the edges of the bag. It's on the mouthpiece. Um, got a little e-juice in my mouth, not a pleasant flavor. Um, but at any rate, uh, learning experience. Um, looked around a little bit and uh, I found this. It's a uh, floss container. Johnson Johnson floss container, uh, sort of square, got a little taper to it. Um, so I grab the, the where the floss is and uh, give it a yank, and the thing comes right out. Um, that's what the floss runs on. Put that aside; that's no good anymore. Now I've got a nice little case that's empty, um, and it's about the size of a cart. So I start lining things up. Let's see how these things are go in there. I got four uh, carts with the caps on them um, and they fit in there pretty nice. Uh, close the lid, not much rattling um, and they're secure so they're not flopping around that's less of a chance for that juice to leak out um, and they're kind of neatly kept all lined up. I mean I don't need any more than four for an entire day and I bring juice with me so whatever flavor I put in here I will uh, bring that particular juice uh, I did actually come across uh, a nice uh, sunglass case that I happen to have laying around. Uh, felt lined, uh, so it's nice and soft in there. And I uh, got the paper clip like everybody says to carry. And uh, this little contraption should fit nicely in there. Um, I can carry a 10 ml bottle of juice and my e cig. Zip it and I'm on the road. So that was my discovery. I thought I'd share it. A lot of people share a lot of their experiences and a lot of their um, uh, you know, beginner e-cig stuff. There's a lot of videos out there that were very helpful. I'll tell you, if it wasn't for YouTube and all the people that you know take their time to publish these videos, uh, some more elaborate than others, I, I don't know that I would even have gotten involved with this. Um, but they made it quite easy to figure out and uh, you know choosing the best product for me, what does what, battery life, yada yada yada. I, I really didn't want to waste any money because I don't have a whole lot of money to waste on um, you know, buying a starter uh, PV 
like a 510 and then discover it's a pain in the ass, my batteries are always dead, then next thing you know I buy a pack of cigarettes and I've defeated the purpose of uh, trying to go with uh, e-cigs instead of uh, analog. So uh, that's my discovery. Uh, if it helps someone, great. If not, this is how I'm traveling uh, with cartridges until I decide um, on anything else. Uh, was looking at cartomizers, but, uh, cartomizers, but um, I am going to use this for a while and see how it goes. Uh, thanks for listening, everybody.